What's up, everybody? It's your girl, I Am Genesis, and welcome to Poetica Presents Puffin Poetry's first official grand opening spot out here, guys. Check me out. If you've ever been to a Puffin Poetry show, this is the perfect time to come and hang out with your girl, I Am Genesis. We got Radio Real in the building, and Mr. AKR, lovely DJ, who's always mixing the tunes over here. I'm really enjoying it. I'm feeling blessed. I appreciate all your support. Continue to come in. Black businesses, Afro-Latina over here. Here. Keep it coming. Come check out the Puffin Poetry Spot. You gonna miss it. Come on out. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? A lot of trials and tribulations, but um, I'm so excited to show y'all like my space and to share with you guys and have a great platform and come up here and speak your truth and speak for the voiceless at all times. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all coming out, man. I'm ready to I see some familiar faces, new faces, faces, faces. Y'all know I don't smoke out just dream. But uh, we appreciate y'all for coming out, man, to our grand opening. So and it's called insufficient funds. So anybody that's ever had their heart broke or went through anything, any pain, this is for you guys, right? I may be cute to the opposite race, but I want my brokenness all over my face. And that's not attractive in my particular case because these men, these men smell that shit from miles away. See these breadcrumbs you fed me, then fill my cup with shit. I show ain't that shit up. Waiting my worthiness away, hoping that you would hit a stay while I slay and pack your guilt away. See, I'm feeling this word to come sit and play, like it's a video game. But once you hit the chose away, see, your check is I'm chest built to rumble with the rest. I can't contest that I'm the best, even when I knew you gave me less. Causing the stress, having my appetite become so useless, so pressed to carry your last name, I forgot to maintain my breath. <laughs> Breathe, cloud under a pile of memories, remembering all the shit that you said to me. Trying to cash the checks and promises that you gave me, but that bitch bounced. So, bitch, bounce. And peace. Um, two tears in a bucket. Two tears in a bucket, bucket. Well, what if those two tears were two tons of despair and the bucket got so heavy you couldn't pick it up? It's into the hole in the floor and you couldn't crawl up. What if those two tears were your two legs stuck in the past, remember what you had and now it's gone? Two matches in your life and two bottles of propane, everything you ever knew was burned away. Now all you do is drink rosé to ease the pain while some random girl named Allie eats your other pains. You're giving her dead presidents, she's giving you such sediments that the doctor didn't prescribe. Two minutes later, you need two pumps to be revived. Pacing on the roof, thinking to yourself, how the hell did all Kevin believe he could fly? Long nights at the pub, long days at the pub, same clothes all week. How'd you like to take this key? A drink here, there, a snort or two, only when the homies come through, is what you used to say. Now it's anywhere, every day, no job, no girl, no home to go to. When you're crying in the corner and those two kids hit the bucket, can you really just brush it off and say fuck? When proof is easy to be found, there's a war going on, and we on the ground, getting stomped out. Losing this race because of misplaced hate toward one another. I don't always agree with my brother, but he's still my brother. And no other may approach with disrespect or reproach without catching hell from us both. Yet we coast, unaware of our surroundings. Living lives that lack principles, morals, mutable. You want to lie. And if you just took one moment, just a little bit, just a little time, you could figure out how you could know your own self, like you could know your mind. You would take a moment and define, and then you could actually get out of life. Check this out, they tricked you. They sold you on this idea, they called it revolution. Watch this. I'm finna commit a revolution right now. Y'all want me to do it again? Yeah. This is a revolution. Anxiety and insecurity. 
saw the picture. Perfect and flawed, see she risked it all just to have it wrong. I'm cut, I'm filtered, my body and my mind clear to embrace the great ones. Go and go with something like this, right? I thought I'd write you a love letter, a cheat sheet, or whatever, but I know you already picture me in your mind from constant replays on dreams anticipated for when we meet. Before I have my heart, I want to abuse it the way it locks just for protection until it realizes you're my protector. King, I told myself I wouldn't overthink this or be so blinded by your purity because of how dirty I've been done. And I know I'll recognize you when the time comes to my ton of clock. But because it's been ticking, waiting on the minutes your hands touch my waist when you kiss me. And you know, just to add, minus your past. Only the multiply what you already dialogue whispered amongst the flowers and trees, while the mountains and streams sing their sacred songs like the oracles in Australia of the Aboriginal dream. And we can hear, like Pythagoras, the music of the spheres, of the planets and stars, the naturalistic epics of heroes and gods, and how our chromosomes travel from Venus and Mars to this third rock, where X met Y, and the two embraced in the spiral and staircase. And perhaps the lines etched in our palms are cryptic inscriptions of our path on this plane. As the days of future past run through the blood that flows through our veins. And the magnetic force brings us to this present time, giving us a presence of mind, entwined in quantum entanglement, induced by rapturous inundations of the neurochemistry in our brains, wherein is the vital spark animating the cosmic pulse, in which sages for centuries have tried to explain. Some try to give it a name, an effort to define it. As for me, I just call it life. Ironic how we lie to each other every time we lie down. We utter our love yous, and I swear to God, this is the best sex I've ever had. We scream love songs to a heart we never had. Every time sex gets added, our hope for love gets subtracted. The math, it never maps. Like a quicksand of emotion. Every time we vow that this time, I ain't finna show no emotions. Our hearts only get more broken, like some idiotic joke, and I wish I was joking, but I'm not. It feels hopeless. I was hoping that maybe just this once we could discuss us without disgust. Discuss what sits at the core of us, the promises we made to ourselves when no one was looking at us. I'm looking at us, I mean, look at us. We be fighting to stop fighting. We hate our own hearts. The Bible says, till death do us part, but we must be deaf to that part because this relationship been dead, but we still don't part. Uh, like, like even post-mortem, we will rip and set each other apart. This is what happens when the damage takes advantage. When we choose these superficial feelings over our hill. Don't you find it silly? And no matter how high we get, we get the same sense. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, I am Genesis. Come see Papa Poetry. Check it out. This is what you miss. Okay. 
The world is a ghetto. You see, I've traveled from many cities from LA to the East Coast. I reside up top, but I hail from the go. I'm just talking about the world that I know. It might not apply to you if you roll through the hood with your camera out the window real slow, like, oh, there you go. There go the blacks and browns living their life in the ghetto. No, to a bus driver. I want to get too close. I don't want to get my Prada back snatched by little Jojo. Whole time little Jojo ain't thinking about your Prada bag, ho. He ain't no thief just because this hood life is all he know. Shit, he might not even know he poke. All he know is that his mom and his daddy love him so. At least that's the hood that I know. I want to tell you what's different. This ain't got all night. Oh. See, he needs to be going by seven. I need to be going by five, so it'll get all the way by. Pussy was being eight dimples, definitely being sucked like a four-legged bus. Down since y'all ready to see, he never come. He wanted a couple of minutes of pleasure. I gave him a couple of seconds of fun. I think we all just got to come. Now he asked if we could do this again, and before he could beg, I placed kisses from his feet to his inner leg. Didn't get a no good, the next move was understood. Deep throat, straight to the back. <laughs> How romantic. I married his dick that night. I tongue kissed his dick before saying I do, hopping up on top, starting my own motion, spilling come like an endless ocean. I say, I say, y'all hold on. I'm looking at y'all face and y'all all in the zone. But the name of this poem is called This Is Art, because me and that nigga was just on the phone. I asked you. <laughs> It's your girl, I am Genesis, and we are closing out our sixth show at the grand opening at 5814 West Grand Avenue. We had such an amazing turnout. I had such an amazing time. I appreciate all the support and the love that we had today at the local spot here in Chicago, Illinois. So if you're in Chicago, if you're in the vicinity, anywhere over here, come puff on some poetry with us. Puff on some poetry with us. Check us out. I am Genesis, 3-Y-E-M underscore Genesis, like the first book in the Bible. If you don't know how to spell Genesis, you need to read your Bible. Anyways, come perform on the poetry. Peace and blessings to you and yours. Thank you.